and we had a snowstorm last night. <laughs> I'm trying to see if you guys can even see how much snow there is. I have to like, first of all, I need to buy a freaking um, actual snow remover thing. And you think I'd learn. Um, yeah, I have a water bottle in my thing. But I'm gonna try and show you how much snow there is. And for the first time, I'm actually being weather appropriate. I'm wearing my winter boots and my winter coat. Normally I'd be wearing like flip flops, but I'm actually smart today. Um, I'm the last person I guess to leave this morning. The snow is so bad. Okay. So I just dropped my car off. Now I'm just gonna wander around Costco for like an hour. Um, I can go through every aisle. If you ever wonder where I got my fur blankets, I have a gray and a white one, but I got them from here. They're $37. I feel like I paid less. Oh my gosh, I remember when I was in um, like high school, the really cool like tights because we had to wear stockings with our uniform and the really cool ones that like all the cool girls wore were like see these see-through black ones not like opaque black ones but those things ripped all the time so they were like a hassle these are nice socks and they call get these they're only oh my god they're only 9.99 six pairs i wonder and they're like really soft and mushy is there different sizes for socks i don't buy socks i'm always going barefoot god there's a cleaning display right now you guys know i'm like obsessed with cleaning look how cute these cakes are the little wreath cake i mean i heard costco cakes are good these were on dragon's den i'm gonna get some i've actually had them before they're really good i'm gonna try a sample too I think I'd like the salt and vinegar more. I'm not going grocery shopping because after this I'm gonna go to work. But all the food looks so good. This is my favorite glass cleaner. I need more Lysol wipes. Okay, you guys wanted more <laughs> vlogs of me out of my car. Well, this is an exciting day in the life. This is why sometimes all I do is car vlogs because I'm walking through Costco killing time. So um, I need more Lysol wipes, but I don't have a cart with me. So I don't think I'm gonna grab them right now because I'm already struggling with my two items. Mama <laughs> got her winter tires put on finally. I'm gonna go home and get ready because Mike texted me earlier and he's like what are you doing tonight and I was like well like, I didn't have any plans it's Monday night and he's like do you want to go to the Habs game with me like the Montreal Canadiens game um Mike's dad has season tickets to the Habs so um when Mike gets tickets he normally brings me sometimes he'll bring his friends but most of the time he brings me and so we're gonna go to the Habs game tonight. It is snowy, so he said he wants to leave early. We're probably gonna head down early, maybe do some Christmas shopping. Um, well, early. The puck drops at like 7.30, I think. So we'll probably be down like for dinner time. Um, Mike said he wants to go to Brigade, which is one of the, the diet was supposed to start today. <laughs> I never hear anyone talk about it, but it's like the best pizza. So. The pizza is pretty much identical to Bottega, but it's more like not fast food because they even have like the same ovens as Bottega. So it's really like good quality food, but it kind of has that like subway idea where they make the, the where they pull the dough and you know do everything in front of you, but like you can choose your toppings. And so that's fun and it's a little bit, you know, faster. It's more like it's not like a sit down where we're there for like 2 hours and eat that tonight. God knows I don't need more pizza, but you have one life, you know? Anyways, uh, and I'm gonna go in now, clean up, always cleaning. Oh, now I understand why my mom was like, always cleaning. I swear, no matter how much I tidy up, it always ends up being a disaster, so yeah. I'm gonna go. My two things are bought at Costco. <laughs> I'm about to leave for to go to Mike's to meet him so we can leave for the hockey game. <sighs> I just wanna talk a little bit about the Sean Vanderwilt and um, Trisha Paytas drama I feel really sad for Trisha because I feel like she just wants to be loved so much like I feel like she honestly has so much love to give to people and she just is always she just can't find the person for her um, but like at the same time I'm like Trisha that's like as if I was like oh Michelle and I are in love like obviously not I just hope that she can you know figure it out and I feel badly for her um, I feel bad that she feels like she has no one 
and I saw she just posted something on Instagram and she was like, she, I'm getting sued by Sean. Um, if he wants all my money, he can have it. It doesn't mean anything to me, but he did. And I was like, oh my God, that's so sad. But yeah, I just, I feel bad for her. Like no matter what anyone says, like I still feel badly for her. Cause my God, guys, like honestly, microblading so far has been the most incredible decision. Doing my makeup takes like, I didn't realize how long my eyebrows took. It's crazy. I am so happy that I got them done. Um, it's just, it's incredible. Like, it's crazy how much time you save. So, so far I would recommend, I haven't hit that scabby part yet, where like I start to like, my eyebrows start to look all weird. I haven't hit that part yet, but so far I am obsessed. I'm so happy with it. Oh, and for those wondering like how I have lighting in my car, I talked about this in my luxury gift guide video. It's basically just like, Oh, you can even do it brighter. It's basically just like a ring light for your phone. So I got that. I paid like 30 bucks for it, but honestly, I linked it um, in the down bar in my video. I think you can get them for like $5. So don't, don't be stupid like I was. <laughs> beverage it's actually very good so this is my pizza I got Italian sausage green peppers and olives and Mike just got sausage and green olives <laughs> you guys for your opinion because I don't know if this is gonna be if this will come across to the postal worker as like bitchy or bratty but I've been having a situation um, because every day my mail comes at like 11 a.m. and 99% of the time oh my god why are you stopping 99% of the time I'm home at 11 because either on the rare occasion where I have the gym at like 11, that's totally fine if they put a delivery slip in my mailbox. But 99% of the time, and I mean 99% of the time, I am home before 11. So typically my mail comes at like 11.18, 11.30, 11, like before 11.30. So I make sure if I know, if I have, if I'm expecting a package, I know to be home for, you know, 11 because generally they come around 11. So I've been having this issue where my postal worker, and I've never had this issue before. You guys are always saying like, oh, I, I deal with that too. But I guess I was just really spoiled at my old house because I became like friendly with the postal worker and they knew me like by name and she would come in and like pet the dogs and like Bentley and stuff. So like I, I guess I was really spoiled because before her there was this really nice man who was the postal worker and I got spoiled because I would never have an issue where they'd put something in my mailbox or anything like that. So I've been having this issue where even if I'm home, she'll just stick a delivery notice or a delivery attempt notice in my box and not even try and ring the bell, not even come knock on the door and that just makes me angry because it's like if I'm home you should attempt you should actually attempt delivery and I know I have a very weird you know work life like I can go to work when I want and I work from home like with YouTube so I know that like most people probably aren't there when they when she tries to deliver packages but I am yesterday for example I have been picking up my Sephora package now but yesterday um, there was like a big snowstorm and you guys know I went to go put my winter tires on and my appointment was at 1 and they attempted delivery at 12.55 and I know this because I look at the tracking 
yesterday. Um, so she attempted delivery at 1255. I wasn't home. So that's perfectly 100% justified. Like put the delivery notice in. But when I'm physically at home, it just really annoys me because it's just another stop I need to make, another stop in the day. And I just find like, I just want to be like, do your fucking job. Like it's not that hard. I know probably walking upstairs is really hard for you, but just come knock on the door or ring the bell. If I'm home, I feel, or if anyone's home, I feel like you should you know, actually like attempt delivery. So, okay. What I wanted to do is cause I don't feel like calling Canada post will do anything. Cause this seems to be a nationwide issue. So I think I just want to leave a note in the mailbox being like, hi, um, if I have a package, um, please like do me a favor and knock on my door. I work from home. I'm home. Like, I think I just want to, like, I just want to do something like that. But is, would that come across as like condescending or bitchy? Like I would word it in like a nice way, not like do your fucking job and come upstairs. I would try and be like, hi, I've been getting a lot of delivery notices when I'm actually at home. Um, if you don't mind, please, you know, please. I don't know. Like, if you don't mind, please, like, come, like, knock on the door, ring the bell. I'd be more than happy. Like, I'd be more than happy to walk down the stairs and meet her. Like, she doesn't even need to walk upstairs. Just ring the bell. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that, but I want to get your guys' opinion because, like, I don't know the etiquette. Like, I'm just really frustrated. I don't want to be rude. Like, what do you guys think I should do? Should I put that note? Because, like, I don't feel like I'm going to, if I call Canada Post, like, I don't think that's going to do anything. And this morning, I was sitting in my living room because Tony shipped a package to my house. Um because her whole mail situation is something completely different, but she shipped a package to my house and I was waiting for it. And I'm sitting there on the couch and I see across the street, the Canada Post person. So I figured that like I would see them drive out and park, but I guess she sneakily walked across the street. I don't know. Did she even carry the package? Like she just sneakily walked across the street and put the thing in the, in the, my mailbox without even asking me. So I'm just getting really frust frustrated. Um, with everything and yeah so what do you guys think because this has happened like many 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 times and I'm just kind of sick of it so yeah what do you guys think should I leave a note like a nice note I'll just like I don't know I just feel like I'd rather deal with her like the postal worker than going to calling Canada Post because I don't feel like it's gonna do anything I don't know it's just really frustrating so I'm gonna go pick up a package. Well, this package I'm not mad about because I actually wasn't home for this package. <laughs> but when I'm actually at home, it's like, really? So yeah, okay, I'm gonna go in now, pick up my Sephora package, hopefully it's in, and then go to work. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, Tony. Tony. Oh, I know it's <laughs> Whenever I show Bentley on the couch, I always ask where you got the couch. Okay, take you out. Yeah. And the blanket? From Provigo? Walmart. Walmart? No, no, that's what... That's this is nice. Benny! No, it was probably the blanket was from um, Provigo, like the big one, Marche that we like. Mm -hmm. and Benny is putting on a show. Well, you should show also. Don't put me in the thing. That's... Yeah. Oh, she just the rest of the back. <laughs> that also, you can put it like that, or if you're watching a movie, you can... You can, yeah, that's nice. You know, you can put it Bentley's out. Bentley's like, that's want. my couch. <laughs> I got these socks at Costco, and they're so amazing. I saw them there. They're, they're so comfy. It's funny, because I bought socks for you guys, too. I ended up getting... Well, I'm trying to wear socks. Benny, you have a little fan club. Yeah. Where's his purse? I'm going to get your pop. Ow! So if anyone's wondering, it's from Winners. This is from Winners. This is from Winners. This is from Winners. Oh my goodness, Benny. <laughs> Tony, Bentley is studying with you. I know, he always does. He likes sitting between my legs. Aww. What does it look like when you're on this side? Oh. Yeah, Benny. Benny. People are gonna be like, that's so gross that you have your dog at the table. I'm like, people like way grosser things. Mm -hmm. is a clean little puppy. Hey guys, so I just got home and I'm going to show you what I got at Sephora, but I'm just so excited to read all of these cards. I was honestly not expecting all of these cards and I can't wait 
Um, I'm going to have to probably buy <laughs> a lot more cards than I have, but I am going to be writing everyone back. Um, and you know, it doesn't need to be for Christmas. You can send me one whenever, but I'm going to open all these right now because I just can't wait. I'm so excited. Sitting by my fireplace and my... I haven't had time to like put away my camera or bag or anything, but I'm sitting by the fireplace going to read your Christmas cards. This is so nice. Okay, so I'm probably going to think every card is the cutest card, but this card is from Kaylee and Caitlin. And I just think this is the cutest card I've ever seen. It's like a little snow globe and it says be merry and bright. I actually think this is the cutest card. And I was filming and then my phone died, but I read the back and she said, can you show the card in a snap? And I was already or in a video and I was already recording it because I just thought it was so, so precious. Nicole, this card is so cute. Um, Nicole is actually has a Etsy store. She said that my viewers could get 10% off um, if they use the code Allie Tony. So you guys can go check out her Etsy store. It's right here, etsy.com slash shop slash Kohl's Closet 12. And she also makes videos, so... Thank you so much for this heartfelt letter. It was so beautiful and really made my night and she told me to read it off camera So I did but honestly um, Just know that I'm so happy for you and I'm happy that I could play a small part. Thank you so much for that letter I will definitely treasure it and read it whenever I feel um, Down about you know the hate and everything. So I got this super cute card from Kelsey and I loved her little fuck the haters um, but look how cute her dog is. Ugh, I miss dogs. And she also sent a card for Tony and Michelle, so I'll definitely set, uh, give this to them next time I see them. But this card is so beautiful, Mariana. Um, she said that she loves my don't give a fuck attitude as well. Apparently that is what I'm known for. Karina, I'm not sure, you know, how you'd feel about me putting your family on the internet, but you just have the most beautiful little family, and I wanted to say that. And you are gorgeous. And the card is really, really cute. So she sent me two cards, but super cute family. Jennifer, thank you so much for sending me. That's that's a really sweet letter and I don't know if you want to be, because you said you didn't have social media, so I'm assuming you wouldn't want me to show your picture, but you and your husband are such a cute couple. So it's around 7.30 and I edited the video and opened all the cards, but I want to show you guys what I got from Sephora as promised. So the first thing I got, which um, I tried a sample of, and Mike and I both really liked it. This is the Martian um, by Sunday Riley. It's their mattifying melting water gel toner. Um, it was really nice. It says for oily to acne prone skin, and my skin has been feeling a little bit greasy lately, but this just made your skin feel so like replenished. And so I decided to purchase it. Believe it or not, I am a moron. And I forgot that I had that VIB Rouge gift card for $25 off this order. I just completely forgot to use it. So I'm going to go to Sephora tomorrow um, and probably pick up um, a new Chase eyeshadow by Urban Decay, my favorite bronze, and also something for my mom for Christmas. But this is really nice. So I'm, oh, and I'm getting my nails done Thursday. They've, they grow so fast. Anyways, I really liked this, and it made my skin feel really nice. So I ordered that. And then from... This was new. I saw it on the site when I went to go order, but this is by, what is this? First Aid Beauty, and it's the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's like a moisturizer, but a primer, and it has coconut water, minerals, quinoa protein, and hydrators. If you guys want a first impression or something, let me know. And then I just got another Stila liquid eyeliner. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner and I was all out and I just got the intense black as usual. Then this I was super excited to try. Jeez, I don't know how I'm gonna open this. Um, with my teeth apparently. I was looking for a new hair oil because um, I like I'm almost out of my hair oil and I came across this um, brand IGK and I tweeted about it asking if you guys had tried it. The names of the products are so cool. So I thought this was an interesting product because it is a cleansing, um, a conditioning cleansing oil and it's called Smoke and Mirrors. The reviews for the brand are amazing. Um, so if you guys have tried anything from this brand and you like it, please let me know because I don't know, like the names are awesome. Like the names, like this packaging made me want to buy it. Everything, like all their packaging makes me want to buy their products. If you guys have any recommendations from this brand, please let me know. But you're supposed to use this, like it says apply a dime-sized amount to wet hair and work throughout. Rinse, 
so i don't know it check out the brand on sephora.com i'll leave a link to it down below but it looks amazing so let me know if you guys have tried anything i haven't washed my hair a lot this week because not that not by choice but i got my eyebrows microbladed and so um you're not supposed to get them really you're not supposed to really submerge them in water for a few days which isn't that hard when i'm not washing my hair because in the shower i just do the bottom half of my face and you know everything like that but um when you're washing your hair it's like really hard in the shower to not get your face wet so i am probably gonna wash my hair tomorrow after the gym and i will try this out and let you guys know by the way i bought these um ugg slippers and like can i just say like life changed i'm wearing socks right now but now i get the hype like honestly they're so worth it for dinner um i'm gonna be having my i have one of these pre-made greek salads which i really like it comes with like an olive salsa dressing and i'm just gonna kind of bulk it up with um chicken and stuff so i need to freeze the rest of these chicken breasts um i'll keep like one unfrozen but i just cut up a breast and i'm gonna use some of this i use this on everything my girl dr dre she found a salt-free version and i've never seen it so now that's my big mission i'm like dying to get my hands on the salt-free version because i love the flavors of this but you have to be careful because it's like really salty so i'm looking for the salt-free version now I also just threw some Montreal steak spice on here. This is really good seasoning too. And this one is salt free. So now I'm just gonna pop it in a pan and cook it up. So you can probably hear the chicken sizzling in the background, but this is my favorite like pre-made salad mix. Oh, it expired yesterday, but it's fine. Um, so I put everything in except these pita chips because I like croutons more and then I love olives. So I have some of my extra olives and then I'll just cut up the chicken and put it on. But I love this Greek salsa. I will put a little bit extra Italian dressing just because I feel like there's not enough. Um, but it's so good. If you guys, I don't know if this is like all over Canada. I'm sure they have similar stuff, but in Quebec, you should have no problem finding this. I already ate the other little piece, but the seasoning on this is amazing. And this is literally just grilled chicken with just some seasoning and look how good it looks. I mean, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you probably don't think this looks good. You could use the same seasoning on like tofu or whatever you want, but so good. So now I have the chicken cut up and I'm gonna put it in to the salad. If you don't like the juices, obviously don't put them in. I do. And that is dinner. I know people are gonna be like, you shouldn't take prepackaged salad, but it's just my favorite salad, so it's really good. If they sold the salsa separately, I would buy it separately and cut my own lettuce. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat dinner now, edit the rest of the video, upload it, and then call it a night.